should have fucking started recording previously. Honestly. Alrighty. You, idiot. you weren't fucking recording? <laughs> now I am. Now I am. And I have All to re roll right, this right. dice until it brings the two back up. There. There's oh, the two. Wow, <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome to episode one of Three DMs and a Tale. I wanted to jump this intro in here since I failed to do it at the time of recording. Simple premise a four sided die is rolled. That decides who the head DM is. In this situation, it rolled on two, which was Manatee's number. And in case you want to know for the remainder of the season, the numbers are Aaron Bryant is one. Manatee is two, Will is three, and Chris is four. Rolled on a two, Manatee will be the head DM for this episode. He'll have to set up a genre and a theme, and then the other three players will have to decide and create their characters on the spot and so on, and we will go into the show from there. I, in this episode, are just playing simple host. You won't hear from much from me, but that'll change soon. Enjoy. We have entered oh into God. session one. Um, th throw your cameras on as you please. I don't know how physical with your work y'all want to get. Visual appealing, motherfuckers. Listen, I got my titties out. I, I... Someone should, at least. Prepared. Uh, this bottle of rum chata is too slick on the hands. Okay. Listen, rum chata is basically just alcoholic jizz. Rum chata is just alcoholic cinnamon toast crunch milk. Yeah, that's why I love that's it. That's what I said. I added Fucking... to my... <laughs> Bro, that is not jizz. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, you eat Captain Crunch differently than I do. <laughs> yeah, I suck Captain so that, Crunch off. So that's why they're called Frosted Flakes. Right? <laughs> Fuck, God. I, and it currently, currently it's sticky enough that I can't open the bottle. So... <laughs> Literally, the cap is stuck. And the... And the ah, fuck. Alrighty. So, um... Let's get back to directing this monstrosity. Alrighty. You're, uh, uh, you're failing in all the strength checks. Yeah, and dexterity. It's too slick. My, my fingers aren't dexterous <laughs> oh, enough. I'm not there. <laughs> <laughs> Try doing a wisdom check. Bonk. Bonks before. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, Bro, I said a wisdom check, not an opposite of the wisdom check. A strength Stupid check. Wisdom check, is that just a strength check with my head? <laughs> it is if you ask the barbarian. <laughs> I was going to say. Okay. Look, if you punch it hard enough, you can see what's happening. So what we're going to need, um, at least what we decided on in the last thing before um, going into the first episode, head DM, decided on the spot with a D4. Genre, theme, and sort of opening storyline um, is kind of what's required of you on this occasion, Manatee. And I have the rum chata open. I just need to progress far enough. Um, oh well, that's well, that's good. That's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm mm. happy. So I need to decide genre, theme, yeah, well, and sort of opening storyline. Genre, theme, and opening storyline. Okay. Yes. Uh, genre. Hmm. Let's go. I'm gonna start off weird starting off. Let's go fantasy western. Okay. Yeah. Um theme is um <sighs> don't wanna be obvious. Vengeance is just something that westerns do all the time. Don't wanna do that. Uh let's do romance as a theme. Fa <laughs> fantasy western, romance. And the storyline starts off at a train station in a uh, desert city. Am I trying to set the players up to in this setting, basically? Yeah, I would almost I would, I would almost say um, take the take the lead until you run out of intuitive steam. Um, Alrighty. Or um, even do a DM classic and just yeah. ask one of the players what they're doing. Alrighty, and so. I'll start off. So y'all are at this train station, and I'll let y'all explain how you find yourselves at this train station in this town called, uh, we'll just go Armadillo. You know, that's a good desert town, western name. Um, it is a Dorvan settlement. Um, and, uh, how did y'all come to this train station in Armadillo? Well, I assume by train. I mean, you did fucking you fucking ass? Did you <laughs> did you come in on the train? Did you are you waiting for a train? Like, what's no, okay, I'm coming in on the train. 
Alrighty. And uh, what's your character like? What's their story? Likes his uh, gunfights more than he should. Mm -hmm. uh, very traditional, what you would expect from a Western attire. You know, the, the pants, the shirt, the boots, uh, mm -hmm. gun holster to the hip. Mm -hmm. um, her doors were doing some interesting things with firearms in this town, so I came to check it out. Alrighty. Uh you uh what's your race? Um I'm gonna be generic as fucking go human. Go human? Alright, so human that is interested in Dorvan weaponry in the town of Armadillo. No. And uh where do you hail from? Um We'll say a town called Purgatory. There's always one of those in the Western. There we go, yeah. You're from the town of Purgatory. Um, other two characters. How did you find yourself at this train station in Armadillo? I am Sister Carolina. Sister Carolina. And I was following. Uh, what, what's your What's your character's name? Uh, oh, who already has it? Shit. Duh. <laughs> it's always the name, man. <laughs> you are the man with no name. The man with no name. See, that's where uh, I open. I open with the name so I can just fucking leave it on the table for later. It doesn't give it, don't give a shit. Get it like 20 minutes later. That's why I call all the NPCs Bob. <laughs> We're going uh, Bob I'll, there. I'll, I'll, do what I'll do that. I'll do uh, Robert. Uh... You don't need to do a last name if you don't want. We'll go Robert Reds. Robert Reds. Robert Reds. Uh, uh, Sister Caroline has been following uh, uh, Robert Reds because she swears she's seen God in him. Uh, however, you know, you want to take that. She has been obsessed with him, stalking him from a, a distance. I don't know if he's aware that is up to... Uh, oh, no, he DM is completely or... oblivious. <laughs> oh, no. I'm actually general presence. I'll, um... I'll say roll, uh... Roll perception check. <laughs> Are we doing the D4 thing where uh, one is complete failure, two is... Yeah, how are we doing that? Um, Three is... Hold on. Let me fetch my castle. We're going with how DM feels, so I'll just look at it, and then I'll just uh, go in whichever direction. Uh... <laughs> We're doing vibes, boys! Vibes! <laughs> We're going freestyle! That's right, this is the lawless west. You roll a dice and you see where fate lands, huh? <laughs> well, shit. Let me I'll throw a d20 real quick. Right. See what happens. Yep. You fucking idiot. Man, I should got whiskey for this one. <laughs> right? Let's see here. I have dice somewhere in here. Ha ha! Uh, ten. <laughs> On D20. Alrighty. You, uh, you ain't paying attention. Your, uh, sister, um, the nun. I'll just call you the nun. Is that alright if I call you the nun? Oh, that's totally fine. It's Sister Carolina. All right. Yes. Sister Carolina. All right. So, uh, yeah, you don't notice the nun. No, like, she blends in. You know, it's not like nuns are the strangest thing to see on a train. Um, what is your race, Sister Carolina? Are you human uh, or an elf. an elf? That makes sense, actually. And uh, where where do you hail from? Uh, okay, so fantasy, fantasy West, not on Earth, I assume. No, it's not Earth. It's a Earth-looking place, but anyway. all right. Uh, she comes from uh, Taggart Town, about um, ten miles uh, out east. Uh, um, she saw she saw Robert Red uh, protect the town from um, this guy who had just been basically beaten up uh the church collecting the uh uh collection box for himself mm. and uh when she saw that she instantly fell in love with him and now she knows exactly what he smells like <laughs> <laughs> do elves have a 
peculiar smell. All twice and old leather. <laughs> and uh, she she's been struggling with um, the fact that you know she's supposed to be a woman of God, but all oh, of her Lord prayers it. keep revolving around uh, Mister Red. <laughs> and uh, we do have a third character. Um, are you on the train or are you just at the station? I'll mm. let you pick. I can be on the train. All right. And hey. I am I am one of Armadillo Town's resident Armadillo people. Oh, shit. Okay. So you're a native here. I am, yes, sir. All right. And uh, how how is your what's your relationship to the people in Armadillo? Are they friendly with you? They uh, don't like you. Mm, you know, anyone who's been there long enough knows to respect the armadillos. But people travel out of town, run into a giant armadillo, tend to scream, throw a punch. Doesn't work mm. very well for them. I'm an armadillo, heavily armored. Ah. All right. I don't know exactly what voice you're doing right now. Wait, no, it's that character from Rick and Morty, the night where they all killed. It was a purge. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess that that is the sound of a traditional Southern gentleman. And uh, what are you doing on the train exactly? Oh well, I saw a woman following a man quite suspiciously, <laughs> and I thought it was my citizenly duty to investigate. Ah, so you're investigating the woman, investigating the man who's just traveling. Got it. Yes, sir. Trying to buy got a little, gun. Got a little, uh, got a little slinky going on there. All right, so the train, um, actually, you know what? Let me go ahead and roll. All righty, so the train is almost an armadillo, but then suddenly y'all hear some bumps on uh, the train, and uh, you see some horses outside. What do y'all do? The horses look scared? Uh, no, they are actually following the train, and, uh, they have a saddle, but they appear to have no rider. Mm hmm. Someone here missing a horse? Yeah, I Carolina, don't think they're on the train. <laughs> Car Carolina finally stops looking at Red and goes, what? Huh? And then you hear <laughs> horse more. On our train. Then you hear more bumps on the train, and then a few gunshots. Hmm. It would appear we are under assault. <laughs> Seems that I way. I believe that God will protect us. I yeah. know in his heart of hearts he would not let us come to harm. Yeah. Mm. Oh, I definitely believe in God and find, you know, Slung lead. <laughs> Pull out their revolver, check the rounds, and go looking. <laughs> and the door in the back kicks in. A guard flies back from a butt shot in his chest. And uh, there's a man in a black trench coat and a uh, black mask and all that. Uh, or black duster. Alright, uh, roll a d20 CP hit. 18. <laughs> you pop the man right in the head, falls down, and there's three others. Uh, look, at, look at the gun totally shocked, like I didn't know what it did that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Alright, yeah, and the others try to um, shoot at you, but they did not expect... For some reason, they were expecting, like, uh, people from Far East. They From East, uh, not Far East. That's a different story. Um, they expect somebody from, um, that place to, um, shoot back. So, uh, they're retreating right into the previous cart. Oh, I'm gonna fan and just keep walking at them. <laughs> All right. Until it's empty and then take over and reload. <laughs> All righty. You, uh, walk out and, uh, um... Y'all are on the y'all on the train on the cart that's like uh, right in front of the caboose, mm -hmm. so uh, they're just trying to take the luggage and try to take what they can and get out. I'm popping shots. Alrighty, uh, roll a d twenty again. All right. While 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 he does this, um, 
South Carolina is going to be uh, praying to, to God for him to enact righteous vengeance upon these filthy heathens who try uh, to make money from good working honest folk. Go ahead, roll a d20 for that. Uh, that would be a, uh, I'll say it's a charisma check. Mm. Ah, well, I have big titties, so... <laughs> Uh, Rolling with advantage? What are you implying? <laughs> Sixteen. I uh, listen. We it was a charisma check. I'm giving relevant statistical information. <laughs> <laughs> um, as you do so, uh, what'd you roll? Um, red. What did you roll on the um? Sixteen on the attack. Alrighty, so... Oh my god, our numbers are touching. <laughs> <laughs> so, she starts praying. He lets off a shot. This shot starts ricocheting all across and hits all three, um... Rascals. At which point... How I'm do gonna... I say God is good and Abrahamic? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna rub the, the rosary of prestidigitation in my pocket to make my duster fl flap in the wind, even though it's going the opposite way of the train. <laughs> And it absolutely does. Oh dear. Is is there anyone else menacing in front of us? Um, there are Reloading. a few Vanna horses screaming at the train like, What's going on? You got it? And there's like two men on uh, horseback. Um, they're leading these three other horses. Uh, I'm gonna walk. I'm gonna walk over to the pile of down men. I'm gonna pick up some of the guns, and I'm gonna stick them out the window and shoot at them horses. Alrighty, uh, roll d20. Oh boy, my favorite part. Now, I do gotta ask, is your character proficient with guns? Oh no, not at all. Oh, uh, then he's gonna roll a disadvantage. <laughs> Wanna kinda adjust his aim? <laughs> okay, so he can roll normal. <laughs> uh, there's that natural one. <laughs> Off to a good start. So you put the gun in your it, eyeball, not knowing how. It works. Uh, so you you put the gun up to the window and you're shaking because you never held such a thing before. And as you shoot the gun, it hits you right in the head. Um, you are not familiar, and it's like these. I don't know. That gun had a lot of kick to it. The one you just picked up. Um, I appear to have missed. Yeah, uh, also did. made it bleeding. <laughs> uh, Red, do you shoot at the three horsemen? I think this happened. Well, I learned sometime, right? Just lean right down where he's punched a hole through the window. <laughs> they lean the barrel out and start popping. <laughs> Same All thing, right. aiming for the horses. Uh, roll a d20. You all are aiming Ooh, for the horses. 11. How could you? They're innocent. <laughs> I mean, a man's dangerous. A man with a you know two thousand pound horse on top of him is less dangerous. <laughs> You're all approaching the problem wrong. Is it my turn now? <laughs> <laughs> Should I have had y'all roll initiative? I might have. <laughs> nah, it's fine. We're doing we're doing narrative <laughs> shit. So the two men folk fail. Uh, Sister Caroline goes, silly. You have to use the power of God, and she pulls out a short fused stick of dynamite. <laughs> <laughs> Sister Carolina was once part of a bandit crew herself. Before so what she you, turned a leaf. What are you uh, planning um, to do with this uh, dynamite? I'm going to get rid of the problem. With God's right. blessing, of course. Um, she, she, she looks towards the, the very like uh, mild-mannered individual, and he sees pure insanity <laughs> in her eyes the eldritch horror kind and she goes they'll be with god soon <laughs> Talks well, out the know, window. Man. <laughs> hey man sister <laughs> and uh that's uh 17 yeah I, i'm willing to take a complication with this <laughs> so th this uh, dynamite is spinning in the air and it lands right in the middle and uh, you hear the horrified screeching of horses um, and a big old pillar of dust rising up in the air. 
one person makes it, he's all bloodied, and he starts shooting, but uh, let me see if he even hits the train. No, he he is fucked up and distracted. He's <laughs> just flopping on the side. He's just like, ah! ah, ah. <laughs> um, <sighs> and uh, he uh, he uh, strolls away. Um, and y'all appeared to uh, fend the bandits off. God is good. He is indeed. Go ahead and uh, start looting the bodies. <laughs> <laughs> if they've got coin on them, I leave one copper in each eye type thing. Uh, we'll roll, dinner. roll a d20. Alright. That is a glorious six. Uh, so you see a can of dip, a, um, a half uh, empty box of cigarettes, and um, a half empty bottle of... Um, medicine don't even know if it works it doesn't even have a label on it honestly but you know it's a medicine bottle right, start collecting the items putting them in a little pile in the center aisle mr carolina yeah. comes over stripping and says, the bodies down <laughs> this is for the police to collect you wouldn't deprive a good tax paying citizen of the police force getting their their just and righteous gains Come now, Mr. Red. Right, I'm I'm organizing it. Slide a hand, the half cap carton of cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I, I con, con, contested, believable. <laughs> All right, well, fuck. I'm at I'm definitely at a disadvantage here. Well, yeah, because you're infatuated with him. <laughs> yep. Well, I don't know if I can roll less than a three. Oh wait, I can. <laughs> Oh, I, got a, I got a two. Fuck you! <laughs> you know, you, you, you know he's lying, but uh, no, I don't. I got a one. <laughs> well, no, it's just like you know he's lying, but like, do you want to do it? And uh, yeah, no, your vows don't matter in this moment. Only your loins. <laughs> My filthy, filthy loins. <laughs> um, the conductor goes to the back and uh, he's, he's asking, "What's going on back here?" Problems uh, being we solved, sir. Just executing God's will. That too. Oh, did we? And several men. I look for it. We're there, bandits again. Yeah, no. dang it! They're pink mist now. I done. I done told them we need to hire security for this area, but oh, they don't listen to me. Or maybe they did. So uh, he goes back, and uh, the train ends in um, it stops in uh, Armadillo, and uh, the people are getting off. Um, casually step out on the platform, reloading my revolver. <laughs> Alrighty, you do so. It's hot as hell. Like, it is hot. Um, dust is heavy in the air. And, uh, you know, it's that stereotypical dusty road, saloon on your left-hand side, other stores on your right-hand side. Home sweet home. Okay. Well, I need to see a dwarf... About some guns. You do look uh, to the left hand side, and you do see um, you do see a uh, elaborate looking gun store uh, with a little hanging side giant gun. Okay. And still, he's still got that press digitation waving his duster unnecessarily. <laughs> <laughs> In the wrong direction of the wind. <laughs> uh, a tumbleweed goes by. Uh... At this point, he will, you know, get that very serious, you know, thing like, you know, Kurt Russell and like Tombstone look on his face as he's looking around for a second, sees the gun store sign, woo, and just bolts. <laughs> <laughs> as you do so, roll a d20 for dexterity. All right. 18. Okay, um, 
as you go, another tumbleweed pops out from underneath the porch to uh, try and trip you, but uh, you're able to Jackie Chan leap over that bitch and uh, ride into the deck, front deck of the uh, gun store. Um, you go to this gun store, and uh, you know a lot of the buildings are like built out of wood, and but this one's built out of stone and uh, like a castle almost in comparison to everything else. Um, the windows are barred, and uh, the door is um, the door is open, but uh, it is a steel door. Okay. Got it. Poke my head in, see if there's any customers in there already, or anybody poking around. You go in on your right hand side. There's a bunch of racks with uh, ammunition and uh, uh, guns on display. Um, uh, you see a front desk behind those, and uh, there's a dwarf just at the desk. Uh, big red beard and uh, black leather apron, and uh, behind him is the actual uh, forge. Um, Kind of walk over towards him. Afternoon. Ah, another newcomer. Yeah, you can say that. Just got off the train myself. Saw your shop. Figured I'd check it out. Kind of looking for a, a little more lethality. And as I pull the revolver, dump the ammo out in front of me and set the revolver down on the counter. Ah, man-made weapons. They're so cheap and break easily. Did that gum jam... Did that gun jam up on you a lot? No, if you take care of them, they're great. Ah. Well, Maybe with Dorvin Engineering... Key. Well, with Dorvin Engineering, you never have to worry about it jamming up. Ah. Uh, but, uh, what kind of weapons are you looking for? Well, heard tale of a great many things coming out of this area. Uh, stuff along the lines of some kind of arcane or magical... You know, munitions, uh, enhancements for rifles to make you see distances that are greater than normal. There's a few things I've heard about, but I'm honestly just interested to see what your craftsman can do with my weapon. Now, see, I used to be willy-nilly do business with anybody, but uh, I have a confession. I've done business like that once, and, uh... As a result, this town almost got overtaken by bandits because of my careless uh, <coughs> business. So, I don't yeah. just do business with anyone. You're going to have to prove to me that you are a trustworthy fella. Not that you might not be a trustworthy fella, but obviously I don't know you. Right. Well, I got half carton of cigarettes. I don't know what's left in the can of dip. And, uh, well, just dump the stuff I looted off the train onto the table. This is what I do to bandits. It's great. They turn into items very rapidly and don't argue when I do it. Okay. <laughs> so, don't do well with bandits. If you got a problem with bandits, maybe we can make uh, some kind of arrangement just dumped all this sh <laughs> random shit on this man's fucking yeah. desk it's just like okay like i have to work with this fucking desk you asshole exactly <laughs> gotta be a sterile environment dick he insulted my gun uh, <laughs> it's a forge <laughs> it's all it's always a mess character interjection opportunity i'm just gonna, well, I'm just gonna kind of loom in the doorway watch well if you do want to win me trust, there is an old fort that these bandits still lie in. Our sheriff did well enough job to drive them out of the valley, but unfortunately, these bandits, they, he doesn't have enough forces to drive the bandits out of this fort. Just at this point, I'm like, huh, interesting. Sister, are you still around? <laughs> Go uh, up. No, oh. Sister Carolina went to uh, the nearest uh, church All right. because she was dealing with her sinful nature. So you go to this church, this church-looking building, and uh, it is constructed from wood, your typical steeple church, wooden tombstones and whatnot. 
uh, very cheaply built. Um, but you go in and you notice it's not being used as a church. There's a uh, there's a projector in the middle and a screen on the back where the pulpit would be, and there's a movie playing. And uh, there's a tall elf-looking fella, um, red and white striped shirt, and uh, he's like, "Oh, ma'am, that'll be uh, twenty-five cents." But the house of the Lord is free. Oh yeah. Uh, no, you don't seem to understand me. Shh. She puts her finger <laughs> over his mouth. The house of the Lord <laughs> is free for all. Uh, this is no longer a house of the Lord, according to the deed. Where is God's house in this town? Uh, well, turns out when you have enough money, uh, he doesn't have one anymore. Oh. That's such a shame. And uh, she is going to walk away and then loop back around stealthily, if possible. Um, roll a d20 for stealth. A b16. He's not really paying much attention. He's just, you know, he's, yeah, it's being used as a movie theater, basically. Um, so yeah, you uh, go around to the back. Uh, the windows are blacked out, so he's not really looking out the windows either. He's going to try and find the structural supports. Um, I would say roll a, um, d20 for, uh, would she have a background in, like, has she blown up a building before in her days of banditry? <laughs> <laughs> well, that is my... <laughs> <laughs> that is what I'm implying here. Um, go ahead, roll at advantage then. Uh, for uh, st for a structure, that'd be an intelligence check. But at advantage, of course. There's, there's no stats here. This is f <laughs> this is ridiculous tomfoolery we're doing. Uh, that's uh, eighteen. So you are able to find a little hole because you know he bought it, but it doesn't mean he maintained it because he's a filthy uh businessman um you do find some uh structural supports um that are exposed for the ch for the church so uh i imagine the camera's like on her back as she's muttering under her breath um filthy libertarians taking <laughs> secular bullshit <laughs> Don't worry, God. I'll make it right. I know you're no, I <laughs> it is and, at this uh, point I'm going to wander up, having looked for her, given that the one's questioning for her. <laughs> um, go ahead, roll <laughs> to see if you uh <laughs> might be privy to uh where she might be. I want to give that to him. I want to give him no of being able to find me. Can I? But okay, not yeah. seeing what I'm doing. <laughs> Okay, okay, so probably assume you've gone to the church, being that you're a religious woman, so it's a very yeah, easy... Yeah, that makes sense. Um, not where in the church... Oh, God, actually, not now that I'm you say doing. that, so don't know where but... you're at specifically, so you're trying to look for um, this person, but you don't know where she is exactly, so do you try to check the inside of the building? Oh, God. <laughs> Mm. Well, that does seem the only logical place to start. <laughs> so, uh, you check the inside of the building, and uh, you find the same thing. You know, you see this elf fella in a red and white striped shirt. Um, 25 cents, sir. Hmm. Actually, I was looking for a woman, somewhat rambly, known to carry dynamite. Have you seen her? <laughs> uh, I don't know anything about no dynamite, but, uh... <laughs> There was a nun that just came in here. I mean, common misconception. I do really need to refurbish this building for it to not look like a church. Question mm. real quick. We're all good with murdering each other, right? Especially in this format. <laughs> I don't know. He's an armadillo. So like He's kind of armored. You know, might uh might die, might not. Don't know. <laughs> Let's see. Good I see. Yeah. <laughs> um, 
But yeah, in the future, um, murdering each other is fine. It's not like you gotta make a whole character sheet. You can if you want, but yeah. <laughs> it's encouraged not to. So, yeah, you check. But yeah, that's the that's the fella. Uh, he uh, tells you that. It's like, uh, nobody with dynamite, but uh, we did find a nun here. Hmm, and where is she? Not sure. She just walked out the door. Hmm. Should probably check on that, then. She might be having more dynamite, or need to locate some, in case she ran out. Um, now, I'm gonna go ahead. So this is probably going on at the same time that you're lighting the dynamite up. <laughs> um, I would assume. <laughs> no. Do you have a D4, Aaron? I got Solomon one. or me? Uh, Bryant. Uh, yeah, I, I got a D4. Uh, roll a D4. Okay. I can. I gotta find the damn thing. <sighs> Where are you, you little bastard? I, I got what I threw a four. <laughs> Alrighty, uh, so. I'll take it. <laughs> you light it. It is a long fuse dynamite you use this time, so you crawl out. Yes, uh, I will say for the purposes of not abusing this shit, I only have one more stick of dynamite. Three was my thought when I alrighty. introduced this shit. Alrighty. Um, fuck, what was the armor deadless name? Oh, no one asked. Oh, no one asked? Yeah, I wrote Armadillo. it down. It's up in the fucking yeah. notes. Like, what's his goddamn name? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, what's his fucking name? <laughs> Armadillo, we'll go with that one. <laughs> That's what I've been doing this whole time! No, I've got a name, no one asked. Motherfucker! <laughs> Man, we are racist, aren't we? <laughs> it is a name. You're gonna die nameless, you fuck! <laughs> <laughs> um, no, you have, well, that depends. Do you immediately go outside the check, or do you check out what's going on inside the, um, converted church? Uh... No, I would have <laughs> seen this place once or twice, so I'll head out looking for the lady. Alrighty, you, you head out. Uh, I'll go ahead, uh, roll a d20 for intuition. That's not a real skill, but, you know, that's what I'll roll call it. it. This is all made up. <laughs> Fuck it. Let's see. Oh boy, a six this time. Alrighty. Um, really not sure yeah. where to make uh, where she might be. Um, so I'll let you decide where you want to try to search for her at. Probably mm. said you she was trying to find some more dynamite, so... Indeed. In which case, I might want to try heading back to that dwarf place. <laughs> Sounds like they'd have Alrighty. dynamite. Alrighty, you're gonna head back to the dwarf place. Um... None. What do you do? <laughs> After crawling out. I execute the will of God. What do you think? <laughs> I mean, the dynamite's already gone, but it's a long fuse, so, like, you have oh. some time to do other shit. Uh, yeah, you can stand there cackling maniacally. <laughs> she, she's going to, um... Go look for Red now. Alrighty. Because All right, God isn't here. So she may as well go to the only other thing that but occupies her mind. We're about to be holy. <laughs> so you all reconvene at the um, gunsmith's place. What cigarettes and a tin of chewing tobacco, <laughs> some kind of ammo upgrade, anything you know? Come on, man. Oh, Come you gotta here. give me. You gotta give me some actual money. I don't. The, the, like bartering don't work on me. Only money. Uh, all right. How much for a box of ammo? Oh, a box of ammo. That'll be uh, $12. How about 11 Like I said, I don't do that bartering nonsense here. Crap. Fine. <laughs> Counts it out. All in light. Right. For, pistol for pistol ammo, I'm assuming. Yeah, something that'll work with this uh, revolver here. Alrighty. Yep. Alright. You said you're going to try to go take care of those um, hoodlums at the fort? Yeah, I just got to find the, the... Well, what I'm taking to calling at this point, the Sister of Boom? Not yet, not yet. Um, 
Uh, once I find her, then I'll be headed to the port. Alrighty, so, uh, the sister reconvenes at the, uh, the, um, gunsmith. So, like, as you're heading out, uh, like, she bumps into you and goes, Oh, Mr. Red, <laughs> I'm so sorry. How are you doing? Quite well, this? sister. I was actually looking for you. Got a... she, lo she looks absolutely, like, flabbergasted. It's like, I... <laughs> <laughs> Why would it have a fool? Well, I've heard of some heathens up in the hills that need to, the good word of the Lord brought to them in a rather extravagant fashion, and uh, forts tend to oh, have no. large and doors. As you, and as you say extravagant fashion, that's when the church just <laughs> fucking goes boom, <laughs> levels up. Um, Y'all feel the explosion, and you see a bunch of pillar of splinter and dust and cactus just fly up in the air <laughs> oh you see you see the sister kind of <laughs> tap tap her ear she goes does something happen i'm a little deaf in in my ears the town is going crazy the horse is neighing wildly um what the hell went on it is I at wish... this point that i'll walk up oh i found you ma'am <laughs> there's a commotion going on <laughs> the door fronts up. What the hell? Hmm. Who did that? No idea. Grab the sister's hand and start walking towards the set of horses. <laughs> you grab her hand, she just like uh <laughs> I'm just gonna keep staring right at the guy who just came running out. Well honestly, sir, I was just there. It didn't seem anything wrong. Seems possibly an act of God. <laughs> <laughs> Or perhaps some disgruntled moviegoers. It never did seem the most reputable place. This the sister lets Red take uh, her wherever he, he's going. The town is collectively gathering at the remains of the church <laughs> and trying to figure out what the f just happened. <laughs> Sheriff is trying to. Uh, <laughs> Saddle them down. Uh, where do y'all head off to? <laughs> uh, uh, get a little distance outside of town. <laughs> All right, uh, y'all can do it by foot. Oh no, I'm jacking somebody's horses. <laughs> like they were neighing, and making noise. I'm gonna grab them and take them. Uh, go ahead and do that at advantage. All right. I'm gonna walk on foot because I can't ride a horse. Ooh. That is a 19 all day. Alrighty, yeah. In the in the chaos where everyone's just worried about trying to figure out what's going on, you you were able to snatch a horse up uh, while somebody wasn't paying attention, and uh, um, yeah, the horse is agreeable with you too. That's the other strange part. So yeah, good horse. You got a so, good uh, black horse. Um, I don't know horses, so. Palomino. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look yeah. at it, at sister, and like, well, sister, uh, I require your assistance to bring the good word. Um, hopefully, you have more of that word to give. <laughs> the, the sister is just spluttering over herself, basically, because <laughs> you you've asked her to spread the word with you. You've held her hand and <laughs> yeah, taken yeah. her on a horse. Literally, she's just like nodding while like, like panicking her, at the same time straight up like movie great like not movie but romance book cover art he's got the hat in one really hand, the reins in the other his chest kind of peeking out behind his shirt you know it's fair to say she wants you to spread her word yeah. <laughs> sex <laughs> <laughs> wow. let's Thank see, do some what good. about the what about the little armadillo man? I'm sure that he'd be useful as well. I need a chaperone. I can't I can't be left alone with you. That would be so unseemly. <laughs> so uh, unseemly. <laughs> using my horse, I'm gonna try to wrangle up any others that may have uh, broken loose and bring him back towards town uh, with the sister in tow on one and find the armadillo dude. <laughs> All right, Just been slowly waddling after you. <laughs> Good, we don't have to go back to town. 
Any any time there's a down and there's like a down slope, roll into a ball. <laughs> <laughs> so y'all are able to head out. Um, everybody's trying to put the fire out at this point. Um, you head out into the desert, and uh, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and roll. So, you head out there, and um, the horse starts to um, starting to panic a little bit as uh, you start traveling. Um, it's a bunch of um, so it's like a dusty trail, and like starts going between rising ridges and whatnot. Um, and as you get deeper into these um, growing ridges, uh, the horse starts to panic a little bit. Like, something's following, y'all. Give it a look. See if I can't spot anything coming at us. Uh, go ahead and roll d d20. 14. Um. You don't see anything unusual. Um, you do see a lot of, um. It, it, amongst the boulders and the dry grass, um, you do see some cactus or some cacti afoot. Okay. Look at the uh, recently assembled party: the sister of Boom and the man with no name. <laughs> <laughs> so, you from around here? I take it. Yes, yeah, so I am. Where's the fort? Oh. Hmm. Let me see. I don't... Uh... going to point in the direction I think it is. Uh, Go ahead and roll with advantage to see if it is the right answer or the wrong answer. <laughs> uh, that's an 11. You get the approximate direction, but, like, not really helpful in these roads that weave and turn. And... I believe it is somewhere in that direction. Admittedly, my long-range eyesight is no more or less non-existent. All right. Well. Go ahead and uh, roll a d20 for um, dexterity for a moment. You're doing a dex save. Oh boy. Everyone. Um uh just red and uh none. All right. I got a 19. Ah, my luck. It is run out. <laughs> I have gotten a one. <laughs> so, as uh yeah. you start the ride forward, suddenly a needle pricks right into uh the nun's chest. And sends her flying off the horse, almost like it's a crossbow. Crossbow bolt. But it's not. Do my massive titties defend me? <laughs> uh, roll a uh, con save. <laughs> con save for boobs? No. <laughs> are not made of titanium, apparently. Uh, I, I got a one again. <laughs> um, unfortunately, it seems to be God's will that you are penetrated by, uh, this, um, needle. It's not a, it's not a, the, the, the strange thing is, like, it's not a metal needle, it's like a neat, kind of like an organic looking needle. I'm on the ground now, yeah? Yeah, you're on the ground in the rocks and sand, bleeding at oh. your chest. I'm gonna walk over and help her out. <laughs> help yeah, look down. Se seems like you've been impaled. <laughs> <laughs> try to like, I want to see if I could like try to follow the trajectory line back towards where it came from. Oh, yeah, go uh, go ahead, roll a uh, perception check. All right. Sixteen. You're able to see that uh, where she basically flew from is towards a uh, cactus. Shooting it. <laughs> Not my sister. <laughs> um, the cactus flails as you shoot it, 
and uh, it turns around and um, has like a jack o' lantern kind of face. Um, it is gonna try to knock you off your horse, but uh, I don't believe a five would hit you. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna use the horse to fucking kick the shit out of that damn tree, basically. Alrighty, uh, roll a d20 for uh, animal handling. Nice, nat 20. So, this <laughs> horse is as scared as you, but it knows that that fucking cactus has got to go down. So this horse turns around and bucks a cactus <laughs> right in the face and uh, sends it flying into the canyon wall. Uh, I think I'll, I'll use the momentum of it kicking to kind of launch me forward off the horse to the ground next to the cystic. Alrighty. And just um, kind of let the horse handle that for a moment. <laughs> and unfortunately, the horse, um, the cacti is about to get up and, you know, do some horrible monster shit. But then this horse is just pissed that he just tried to attack <laughs> it. So this horse is just leaping on it, stomping it, <laughs> stomping the ever living shit out of this cacti. Best horse ever. <laughs> 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 yeah, you locked down on that one, Jesus. <laughs> Alrighty, um, sister's bleeding. Well, uh, mm. you uh, any good at healing? Mm. No, sir. My hands are not at all mobile. All right. <laughs> the sister's just muttering under her breath. Uh, great. I'm here, sister. I'm here. Let's let's get you patched up, and we'll make sure that, you're alright. That right. needle still in her chest. It is still in her chest. Just gonna. <laughs> Bro, uh... That's literally the first thing you should <laughs> never ever do. <laughs> so he pulls it out. Um, yeah, and the blood starts rushing as you do that. Oh shit. <laughs> Oh, that did not work. Uh, really, this is just a deep assassination <laughs> attempt by the armadillo man. Reach into my little pouch of rounds I keep to reload, and like, pull the lead off of one, dump the black powder on there, and just fire a round next to it to light it. Uh, are you trying to cauterize the wound? And just get it sealed at least. Jesus, fuck. <laughs> what a fucking ghetto way to do that shit. <laughs> Roll a t20 and see if it works. Medicine. Quick batch, let's go. <laughs> proper, proper Western way. Vape, deal, and gunpowder. Yep. <laughs> I have hey. matches on me, you goddamn savage. <laughs> What'd you Obviously, roll? I don't smoke. I gave up the cigarettes. <laughs> Did you roll for this one? Dead. <laughs> Yeah, the blood soaks the gunpowder, so, like, all you basically did was just throw gunpowder in the wound. I mean, that would help clot slightly, but... Yeah. Mm. Be a lot better if you just jab the fucking bullet in my wound. <laughs> I'm gonna try um... and put the needle back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hold on, I see the problem. This is the <laughs> um, roll it. Uh, at this point, sister, I'm gonna have to have you roll a uh, death save. <laughs> he gets. <laughs> God is good. He is alive. I rolled a 19. <laughs> Suck a dick. <laughs> so, yes. <laughs> Like you remember, you remember back in your days of um, what religion would the elves follow? Um, oh, I was imagining this is like, like they're they're equivalent. God fucking Yahweh. They're equivalent to Catholicism, Elven Catholicism. You remember back in Catholic school when so the sister is just beating the ever living fuck <laughs> out of you with a metal ruler, and you're like. I'm strong. I'm stronger than this. I am stronger than this. And you get the fuck up. And 
and uh, I'll let you take it from there. Like you, you had a memory so that she shoots up with uh, with her hand snapping around the armadillo's neck, half ready to like crush his windpipe, and she goes, "Oh, I'm so sorry." Ow! <laughs> Why does it feel? Oh. <laughs> Oh. Sticking it back in did work. God. <laughs> you took it out? It seemed like the logical thing That's to do. That's the first no, you goddamn... Uh, Admittedly, I have no experience with puncture wounds. My heart is very tough. Maybe <laughs> next time, don't touch something you don't understand. Oh, God. Gonna just gonna start whistling and walk back to his eyes. <laughs> Is this gunpowder in my wound? <laughs> I did not attempt that. <laughs> Works well. Sometimes the, the gunpowder stopped the bleeding. Oh, Red. I knew, <laughs> I knew you'd be the one to save me. Got you. She just stares quickly, like it's an instant <laughs> second of just pure daggers, and you feel death haunting <laughs> over you in the shadows for a moment. Armadillo you know, man, who I still don't know who the fuck you're. <laughs> I'm thinking this is like the most metal cover ever because it's a nun in the old west with a bleeding wound on her chest. Who's obsessed just with fucking a dynamite? Just glaring at you. That's like a metal album cover. <laughs> The fact that it's that, the gunslinger walking away with a horse and an armadillo, man. That's a metal <laughs> album cover, all right. The band That's name is... Awesome. The band name Just is... The, the band name is, is officially Catholic Dynamite. Title of video. Just earshot. I'm going to be, like, petting the horse, making sure it's okay and everything. <laughs> You're the best horse ever. I will never let you go. <laughs> You're all right, girl. You said romance. I have a horse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. All righty. <laughs> so y'all, um, Sister get Carolina a... plots to kill the horse. <laughs> <laughs> With the game becomes Yandere Sarah Simulator. <laughs> so so y'all... Desperately to find a situation where you can serve... Secretly dynamite the horse. <laughs> <laughs> so y'all uh, head out of the canyon. Uh, you head in the general direction that the armadillo gives you. Um, there's a lot of um, there's a lot of mountains for y'all to climb, and uh, the horse starts to get tired. All right, I'm breaking camp for the night. <laughs> <laughs> 